This time on Motion Mondays, simple indexing with CVM programming. The most common single drive application is indexing an axis of motion. While this is a simple application, it can be very powerful, especially when combined with other actuators in a larger system. As is often the case, the first step is wiring the system. Here, we show how the example was wired. It is comprised of three elements, a home switch, a go switch, and a selector switch. Once wired, we configure the home switch input. In our case, we use input number three. This input is PNP, so we select pull down. Finally, we are looking for it to be off to home, so we will select active low. Next, we go to the CVM programming environment. We first need to set up the input so we stop any running programs and enter the setup tab. Here, we configure the number of BCD inputs, the go input, and the trigger state. In our case, we'll look for a rising edge trigger. Next, we test the inputs we wired. First, we look for input 4 to go off and on. Next, input 2. Now that we have verified our wiring and completed the setup, we can program moves, so we go to the Program tab. We first add a home move. Once selected, we can select the homing method, then the home direction and speeds. For now, we will reset the home offset to zero. Next, we will choose sequence one. In this sequence, we will choose a generic move. It will be a relative move of 7,000 counts. And we will wait for the move to be completed before moving again. Now we will save the sequences, press the play button, and exit the CVM window. We then open the control panel and re-enable the servo. We can now select sequence 0, then start that sequence, and the axis homes. We can select sequence 1, then start that sequence, and the axis indexes. However, our home position needs a little adjusting. Assuming we have just home, we stop any running programs and disable the servo. We can manually move the axis to home. Look at the current motor's position, then apply that position to home offset in sequence zero. Save the program, press the play button, exit the CVM window, open the control panel, and re-enable the servo. We re-home and see the new position, and can now index from that position. You can now trigger moves at will and make any further changes you need for your application. Until next time, thanks for watching.